Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Modeler. This is Raj. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to uh, continue with our array uh, creations. And this is the basic array tutorial. We are going to create a parametric array. Uh, so we will be creating a fence family. So it's a linear array in a way. So we have already seen a uh, path array using Dynamo. If you have not uh, watched it, you can watch the previous tutorial. So uh, basically we are going to create a one single element uh, family that family will be nested into the array family later it will be created based on the length so it will increase the number of objects that's the objective of the tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your learning friends. Thank you. I have come across with Google there are many types of uh, fences are there let's make this fence and single leaf will be made as a single family and later we can include that into a, another family we can make it. So here I have a, a sample Revit project with the topo surface it's a simple model and we can start with the um, family file new family so we can start with any generic model family will be enough for us English and the model generic open and create uh, extrude uh, with the front view from this side we can create an extrude something like this one and we may need a height parameter if, if it is necessary so we can create it and say dimension so we can make this completely parametric family for the size controlling options this much and align this um, but in this case we I'm thinking whether it is to align in the center or how do we go so we can go ahead with the center alignment equal constraint the dimension will be say at the moment will be 50 50 millimeter as of now uh, I don't have any sharp edges if you needed we can create the sharp edges something like this or fillet edges 35 the other side also it is supposed to be 35 okay so now it's done we have to assign a parameter so height so let's we have to think that whether it is the instance parameter or type parameter we can keep this as a type parameter at the moment if it is needed we can change that into a instance later on we can finish this and the other one which is width select ok In the plan view, you can control the sides, equal constraint, and we can keep the dimension as say maybe 10 or 20. Depth, and let me keep the depth as 20 millimeter. Okay, so let's go to the 3D and we don't want to see the any annotation element which is visibility graphics. Turn it off the annotation and select the element. On the left side you can assign the parameter as uh, wood material. Okay, so once it is done, 
so we can save this family as fence if okay now we can start the another family file new family so let's go ahead and select the generic model so we are not creating any line based family here we are just going to understand the array and their possibilities and the next tutorial will be line based family open this and we can come back to the previous family load the family to the second family which we have you can place it anywhere that you wanted. Later, we can align it our pages. Okay, so we have to plan our family. We will be having a length, a total length of the fence. So this will be the total length. And as in the parameter using this option, fence length. So this fence length will vary depends on the places, place to place. Each n will vary. So it, it should not be the type parameter. Change this as a instance parameter. Okay. So we have to calculate that we where do we start the fencing? So this leaf where, where it will start. So basically uh, it will start from some distance. So we can place a reference plane so that we can constrain this particular family in this place. So before doing that, I also need to do one more option. Edit the family. After selecting it, you have to edit the family. We will have a depth, height and width. So we can say leaf depth leave eight leave but we also need to assign the material so that it will be easy for us to later on Oh, that's it all the parameters are assigned with this family so now we have the parameter let's align the uh, family from this place to the center lock this one and with the center with center lock this one by this it understands that whenever we wanted to move this initial location we can move it any direction like left and right so we can measure this dimension, keep it side. Now the next thing is that uh, we have to make a array from this place and that array option is available from here. And if you're not watching the basic tutorial of array, you can go back and watch it. And you can, uh, you have a different options. So it depends actually. So, what is the situation so basically this in this tutorial we will be using the second option because that's the best way not we don't know the last point always so it's always best to know uh, where do we start so we will be knowing the one-to-one -one gap so the fence one-to-one -one gap we will be knowing it's good that we can go with second option and you can place the end number you want and it will be controlled later time in the formula and so the association must be there don't forget that so approximately i'm placing it this far you can control it later time and i'm just clicking it so you can enter the number of elements that you needed no problem you can enter now we can create the second reference plane which uh, will define the gap between the elements so now i'm doing the align command Aligning the second element. Okay. Now we know the each element gap. Say for example, this gap 
we have to assign the uh, parameter value which is supposed to be uh, which is supposed to be the of value bigger than the, uh, the width of the elements so we need to have total width plus some gap so how do we want it so we have to assign that parameter value here so that will be good calculation for this one so this will be say for example gap element gap or fence gap the fence gap will vary based on the type so we can keep it as a type parameter if it is needed we can change it later now you see that once it is changed if I move it automatically the elements will get more also because the association between the elements that will be as it is okay so go ahead and and we can create the number of elements select any one of the array and you will be able to see this line select the line and you can see a option if you are using the older version it will come here so if you are using 2021 20 version or 2021 versions or above that you will get label option here add a label say number of elements or number of leaf so this number of leaf will vary uh, based on the instance so we have to keep it at as instance now we have the gap between the element we have the total length of the fence so we have to increase this number based on the total length we can go ahead here and the number will be automatically determined based on the total length we can come here and we can start creating the formulas the formula will be total length divided by so how, how many elements we need so we we may need the uh, total gap okay so the total gap means gap is 160 okay fence length divided by fence gap so this will give us the uh, value of uh, maybe sometime uh, in fraction so it will make it round off to the nearest number so we can create and worry about it let's check that so it will not always be same value we will be having so we have to make one minus so that it will be some gap will be there for the wood support That's okay. It is very simple as it is. So we can change this fence gap also if it is needed. The fence gap will be, uh, say for example, 200. Formula will be calculated. Eight numbers will be assigned. We can apply that. Again, coming back here, 100. And 150. Uh, 125 will be good enough that's it so once it is done you can click ok ok bar and we need to create uh, a support uh, there are two supports we needed you can create the, them uh, along the height of the leaf so for that we can go ahead and see the left side of the view and we can see the array or array element very clearly create the extrude option which is extrude in this place and create an rectangle in the bottom even we can create this as a parametric but in this case i don't want to create this as a parametric i will keep this as a simple non-parametric element so that it will be easy tutorial for you so I insist that you have to practice this because the tutorials the next series of tutorials will be uh, based on these options available so I'm logging all these dimensions 
so that it will not move from the place. So once it is done, finish this and go to the flow plan and you will be able to see this element and stretch this along this reference line, reference plane and lock this one. Similarly, stretch out and stretch in, lock this side also. Now, whenever this total length increases, this bar and the total number of fins also, leaf also will get increased. You can select the element, assign the parameter which we have created earlier. That's it. Similarly, go to the left view and create one more extrude which is which will be on the top side. And use the align command. Lock each portion. So we have uh, the fence which is on the top. You can create a reference plane and lock it later time. And finish it, create a reference plane. We have the uh, height, fence height parameter. We can assign them in this case. Leaf height automatically it will be aligned. We have to constrain this, this one. Basically, we, have, we are constraining this to move along this height. So we are maintaining 222 as the height. So if you need, we can make that as also parametric. Now, that's it. So we have to assign the, this material parameter. So here, put material. That's it. So we have created the fence material depends with the option so let's go back to the front view to constrain this we have to align it to the right side and to the left side both the sides now go to the 3d view and you can check that the elements are created and it's fully parametric as in the wood material, if you need it, like say, create new material, new wood, search for the asset, the wood you are looking for, say bamboo, right click on them, click, replace it into the editor or click this arrows. So once it is done, it will be applied in the views. We have to see them in the render appearance also. Select OK. Select and the leaf height will be say 1 meter. OK. That's it. We have our parametric family, fence family. Let's test this in our project. Load into project, the sample project. So you can press the space bar and you can place wherever you need it. The benefit of this one it is that um, you will be able to change the parameter value, say uh, fence length. Fence length will be say 3 meter. In this way, you will be able to change and create the reference parametrically. It will be flexible for your requirement. And if you see that, every time we have to select and do them. 
uh, it's it's basically not based on the our uh, institute so we have to uh, understand the difference between the line family and the this array based family so one meter like this you can create your own family and the most of the array based families like uh, lures and grills and everything will be based on this article so do practice it well and we'll be watching at the other tutorial uh, do share it with your learning friends thank you